A Holter monitoring test is a non-invasive procedure that monitors and records your heart's activity over a prolonged duration. The test uses a wearable device to record the ECG signals. Compared to the usual ECG test, which can only see the electrical activity of the heart for a short period, a Holter test is able to record for a continuous long period. This allows more time for any abnormalities to be picked up, especially those that occur for short periods or do not occur during the typical ECG test. A Holter monitoring test is useful when a patient shows experience such as palpitations or giddiness. It can check if the prescribed medications are suitable for the patient's conditions. It can monitor for abnormal heart rhythm after an operation. There are three types of Holter monitoring test. The care team will decide on the most suitable test upon discussion with the patient. Before coming for the appointment for the test procedure, please remember to take a bath or shower and shave chest hair, if necessary. Do not put any cream or lotion on the chest and do come dressed in loose clothing. Our cardiac technologist attending to you will explain the process and risks of the test procedure in details before taking your consent. The cardiac technologist will then proceed to clean your chest with disinfecting alcohol or water before putting on the electrodes. Do let the cardiac technologist know in advance if you are allergic to transpore or micropore tape. The ECG electrodes will then be connected to the device. You will need to wear the device for the stipulated duration required. While wearing the monitoring device, you may continue with your daily activities, but please avoid vigorous exercise. If you are wearing the wired device, please note not to shower with it. During the monitoring period, if symptoms such as shortness of breath, palpitations, chest pain or giddiness occur, press the button indicated on the device. You will also be given a diary to record the symptoms. This will allow the care team to match the symptoms noted in the diary with the ECG readings. Other things to take note include. Do not remove the device unless advised by the cardiac technologist. A few trips to our cardiac lab may be required for putting on, removing or returning the test device. Medical certificate can be issued for the day of test procedure. At the end of the monitoring period, you will need to return to our cardiac lab to remove or return the test device. The results of the test will be discussed at your next clinic consultation. Thank you for watching.